Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida. Welcome to Gut. The action for sure is going to make you sweat. And now today's fearless players wearing the baffling blue from Millwee Middle School. Rebecca, the Lamb, In the ravenous red from Meadowbrook Middle School, outrageous game out. Premier Purple from Walker Middle School, Oliver, the Viper, the Viper, the Hello everyone, I am Mike O'Malley, welcome to the Extreme Arena, home of Nickelodeon Guts, the action sports show where kids live out their greatest sports fantasies. Once again, we have lined up a tremendous competition for you today, and our players will battle their way through four events, and after that, they'll get a chance of tackling our radical rock, the aggro crag, where almost anything can happen. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events is the winner, and after that, he or she will be able to take home a glowing piece of our radical rock. Now remember, all of our events are specifically designed with our players' safety in mind. They will be wearing safety equipment and will have professional stunt coordinator and stunt spotters with them at all times. So please don't try this at home. Now on to our first event. It's called Over the Top. We're going to strap our players into a harness and let them loose on our high jump bar. Let's go to our referee, Mo Quirk, for the rules. Mo. Our players will get three shots to clear the high jump bar at 6 feet 9 inches, 7 feet 5 inches, and 8 feet 1 inch. Only the best jump will be counted, and the player with the highest jump wins. So, are we ready up there? We're getting harnessed up. On your mark, get set. And here's the leap from Rebecca. Up, does she make it? Oh, no! Her knee's right into that bar right there. She'll get up there and get her second chance. She climbs up on our aerial bridge. Seven foot, six inch aerial bridge up there. On your mark, get set. Yeah. Elastic sports. Oh! A little too timid on that jump. She's, she's going to need to get more air on that one if she's going to get over our first level of six foot nine inches. Basically like jumping over Larry Bird's head. Uh, we'll get that harness set up. Okay, looks like she's ready for another jump right there. On your mark, get set. Yeah. Down and up. Big strength down there. She got. So salvaging her three jumps with the six foot nine. I shouldn't say salvage. I mean, she did a great job. Let's go through the official results from Mo. Mo. Rebecca cleared six feet nine inches. Mike. All right, six feet nine inches for Rebecca. We will now get Cam back up there. As you can see, Rebecca happy that she got off that third jump in the first level of six foot nine inches. So we will get Cam, outrageous Cam, outland. We'll see if Cam can outland Rebecca on this one or out jump, I should say. He's going to have a first attempt at six foot nine inches. And then if he gets that one, then he will go for seven foot five on inches. On your mark, get set. For Cam. And Cam is back up there to take another jump. On your mark, get set. He's already beat 6 9. Now let's see if he can. Oh, actually, I should say he tied 6 9. Let's see if he can beat 6 9 and take the lead on this one. He'll have one more jump. He's up there and ready to go. On your mark, get set. And there's Cam. Can he outland? No! His knee's right into that. Okay, so let's get the official results from Mo. I think we know what they are. Let's go to Mo. Cam also cleared six feet, nine inches. Okay, so we have a tie for first place right now between Cam and Rebecca. Our next player, Oliver, as you take a look at Cam getting down from the aerial bridge up there. Oliver, the Viper, Vinoy. We'll see if the Viper can put his venom into this jump. Sink his fangs into this next jump and, uh, and tie our other players at six foot nine then. He'll get two more jumps. On your mark, get set. Yeah. All right, and there is the Viper. Not a problem. Jumping right over that bar. And he is going to now try to take the lead and get secure first place on points your mark, on this one. Get set. 
There, he's down enough. Does he have enough strength? Over! Seven, five. He has one more jump, and he's having so much fun. I think he's going to try to see if he can get on eight your mark. feet, one inch on That's this it. one. This would be a world record, folks. Is he up and over? Oh, yeah! We'll go to Mo and see if that counts. Let's go to Mo. Oliver cleared eight feet, one inch. That puts him in first place. Tied in second place with six feet, nine inches. Cam in red. Rebecca in blue. All right, so Oliver, 8-1, didn't knock the bar off. The world record in the high jump was 8 feet. And look at Oliver go up and over. There's a fantasy coming alive. Getting up in the air, and he did a great job on that one. And we are with him in the middle of our field. All oh, talk to me about that jump. How did that feel? Great, man. I was just flying in the air. Michael Jordan, eat your heart out. <laughs> First place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Oliver and Purple. Tied in second place with 200 points each. Rebecca in blue, Cam in red. Mike. That will be the thumbs up after our first event. And now it's time for the Ram. Rebecca to spill her guts. So Rebecca, spill your guts. Rebecca the Ram. Pontius is a 12-year-old competitive swimmer. Never out of the water long. Rebecca also loves the beach. The Ram got her nickname after running down some doors at a camp raid. The Ram. Well, that sort of intensity should come in handy in our next game because over 40 soccer balls will be sh shot at all of our players. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. In this event, each player will have 30 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them. The player who blocks the most balls wins. So players in your places, please. And on your mark, get set. All right. So as you can see, Rebecca, one sliding by her, but she's got her hands on the second one. They must stay in that box right there as the cannons are coming at our players shooting the soccer balls. Oh, 17 seconds left. All right, you got to stay on the ball to your feet on this one because agility is extremely important in this event. All right, and it looks like all he's having some handiwork on there. They're coming at his head, but he got his shoes on and two seconds left. One. Oh. All right, folks. This one always a mystery until we get our final tally from the judges. Good event, all our players. You take a look at Cam, a little bit tuckered out, as is Oliver after that event. Yeah, you need a lot of agility in this one, and Mo's ready, Mo. In first place, we have Oliver in purple with 17 blocks. In second place, Cam in red with 15 blocks. In third place, Rebecca in blue, 12 blocks. So all of our players turning in a good showing on that one, but look at Ollie. He just got his hands down, his hands up. They were coming at him all over the place. And, oh, that one got by him, but he took first place on this one. And we have Ollie right here on the field. Ollie, have you ever played goalie before? No. Would you like to play goalie now? Yeah. All right, so let's go and check out the leaderboard and Mo, Mo. In first place, Mikey, we have Oliver in purple, 600 points. In second place, Cam in red with 400 points. In third place, Rebecca in blue with 300 points. All right! So far, so good. A close game on this one. More events coming up. You stick around. The Sam's going to spill his guts and go to the gym. Take a look at the Extreme Arena scoreboard. You see that Oliver, a perfect score so far. The Extreme Arena heating up here at Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Yeah! Well, they got it here today. And before we get to our next event, it's time for Cam to spill his guts. So Cam, spill your guts. Outrageous Cameron Outland is 14 years old. He competes in volleyball and baseball, but admits that his favorite things to do are hanging out with his friends and rearranging his house. And that is Cam. All right, well, Cam, you can't rearrange the furniture in our next event. We call it basic training, and it happens right here in our gym. Our obstacles change every day, so let's take a look at what we got going today. So what we got today, we got the car going net. Then the tightrope walk, they're going to get onto that platform and then fall into the fall bag. Better not take a nap there, because we got the jungle to get through. The jungle right here, and then up the wall climb. Taking a leap off of that thing and into the pool, where they're going to say hello to Joe. Hi, Joe. And then we got to hear about the rules for Mo. Mo? 
Thank you, Mike. Our players will be timed from starting line to splash down. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. First player on your mark, get set. Rebecca! Up! The car going in! She's been over in quite well on that one. A lot of people often fall in that event or that part of this event. She's making a lot of tight roll She's doing awesome. Yeah! Right into the fall back, the free fall back. She's got to roll out of that thing like a stunned woman and get through the elastic jungle. A fun gal in our jungle. Oh, she's having trouble right there, folks. In the elastics. All right, Rebecca. She needs to get down that tube fast and into the water to take a little swim. And there she is. All right. And our next player is ready as you see Rebecca get out of the pool. We got an official time. What is it, Mo? Rebecca in blue finishes in 37.2 seconds. 37.2, the time to be. On your mark, get set. All right, and there is Cam as he hops up. Well, he's not hopping, actually. He's climbing up the cargo net and gets up there in good time. About five seconds. He is across that tightrope walk. He's doing awesome, folks. Right into the free fall bag and out of that. He's going to have to make some good time. Oh, he's walking through the jungle. No problem for this guy. A little spastic in the elastics, but he's getting out of there and he still is making good time on this. Up the wall. He's going to have to get in there, too. He's got about 10 seconds to get down there. No problem. Looks like he's going to come out of that one in the lead. So let's go to Mo and find out. Cam in red clocks in at 30.7 seconds. 30.7, so he now in the lead as you see Oliver. On your mark. Get set. Will Oliver hold on to his perfect score right here? He's having trouble in the cargo net. His feet getting slipping through those holes. Oh, he trips. He's going to have to make good time. Along the tight rope walk, he's doing good at this point. And now into the free fall bag. Yeah, hello. He's going to have to get through that elastic jungle. Oh, he gets low. Oh, he's doing good, folks. He has to beat 30.7. It's going to be really close. He climbs up the wall. He could still have a perfect score. He's going to have to get the water fast. Looks like he got it, friends. Looks like he got it as you see him. A little bit out of breath on that one. Yeah, but he's like, I think he beat the time. Let's go and get the official score for Mo. Mo. Oliver in purple finishes in 28.8 seconds. All right, so take a look right now. 28.8 seconds, that okay. That puts Oliver in first place. That puts Cam in second place and Rebecca in third place. Perfect, and there's a look at Oliver in slow-mo as he made his way through that elastic jungle. Take a look at this. Those elastics didn't stop him at all. He had his Aquaman sonar radar on there and said, it's time for me to get wet, so I'm going to climb this wall and take a little dive. Aquaman, Oliver, yeah, get a little wet. We got Oliver right here. Oliver, talk to us about that last event. I thought the ropes had me. I got up to the jump. That was great. I just flying in the air. I got to the strings quick. I did it. <laughs> you did it. It's right. You won that one. Let's go to the leaderboard and check out where we stand. In first place, Oliver in purple with 900 points. In second place, Cam in red with 600 points. In third place, Rebecca in blue with 400 points. A beautiful game so far. We got a perfect score. And now it's time for Oliver to spill his guts. So, Ollie, spill your guts. Oliver the Viper Vinoy is 14 years old and holds the school record for the mile run. When he's not going in for the kill on the track, he is on this dirt bike. The Viper once broke his leg in pursuit of a spectacular ramp jump. And that is the Viper. And his leg has definitely healed for our next event, which is spirals. Imagine being Randall Cunningham harnessed up to an elastic cord and being able to jump over your front line. That's our next event. Let's talk to Mo. Mo. Indeed. Um, our players will jump off the aerial bridge, bounce up, and try to get a football through the tire. They will have 45 seconds to get as many tires through, as many footballs through the tire as possible. Players, on your mark. Get set. And there is a look at our players as they begin their leaping capability, and they are doing very well. There is a look at Rebecca, and there is Ollie as he threads the needle on that one. Cam also with one. It looks like neck and neck in 30 seconds. Uh, Ollie again trying to hold on to his perfect score, and it looks like Rebecca is having some trouble getting back up there. She's hung up. She needs to pull herself back up there. All right, there she is. It looks like she has her momentum back there again, but Ollie, as you see in the left-hand corner of our screen, hopping 
his way to, it looks like another win. He's walking away with it. Nine seconds on this one, folks. There's Cam. Is he going to get it? No, he's out on that one. And Rebecca, we got three seconds left. Two, one. What's it going to be? Oh, there goes Cam. So Cam getting another one in at that point. We will go and check with Mo and get the official results on that one. Looks like she's ready, Mo. In first place, we have Cam in red with four footballs. In second place, Oliver in purple with three footballs. And in third place, Rebecca in blue with one football. All right. To so take a look here at Rebecca as she gets up and up. And the ball just kept going with her. The precision very important on that next event on that last event and uh she had some trouble but rebecca you got a smile on your face talk to us about that last event really hard <laughs> it's hard to get down and get back up and get the ball and go back all right well we're gonna give her a chance to catch her breath as we go to the leaderboard mo right now in first place we have oliver and purple with 1100 points in second place cam and red with 900 points in third place rebecca and blue with 500 points all right you think i got time to play catch no way we got a mountain to climb and rebecca could come back we'll find out right now she can win this one the crag coming up Welcome back to Guts for our final event, the Agro Crag behind me. It is heating up. Who knows? It could blow some ash in our player's face, just like Mount St. Helens. Let's take a look at where we stand. Mo. After four events, Oliver and Purple is in the lead with 1,100 points. In second, Cam in red with 900 points. In third place, Rebecca in blue with 500 points. All right, that's a look at where they stand now. Let's take a look at how they got there. All right, and here is the replay. And you take a look at Oliver as he went up and over the high jump bar. 8-1 on this one. Did a fantabulous job on that. Excellent looking right up. And he sees the, the bar was wobbling a little bit, but it did not fall down. Then take a look at Cam. He's in free kick right here. Starting to knock down, though. There's a nice shot with his right arm right there. Take, he is in second place right now, doing excellent, excellent before our final event. And take a look at Oliver, who at this point, looking for the perfect score, was starting to knock it down. Soccer balls left and right. Take a look at Rebecca as she gets into the elastic jungle. Just diving right into that thing. Perfect work on this one. As she puts her head down and, oh, she got caught up right there. But she had the yellow rope right there in her hands. And then take a look at Ollie. Ollie, Ollie Oxenfree. That's what he was calling. I think they should write a musical about this guy, Oliver. Oh, wait a minute. They already have. Oh, so he went climbing up the wall and then down into the tube slide to take a little dip. Did some awesome work on that one and that was oliver all right and now we're here for our final event the agro crag a big 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 event right here folks a lot of things can happen in this final event big surprises rock slides snow avalanches slime in your face water in your hair a lot of things can happen here folks let's go to mo for the rules Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not cross into another player's path. Now, during their climb, they must light up each of seven targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to set off all the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will receive first place points. Mike. And there's a look at our players as, as they concentrate. The points in this final event have skyrocketed. Third place worth 375 points. Second 550 points and first 725 points so our players the crag is about to decide it let's throw them all players on your mark get set okay so we'll see what cam can do in this one he's behind oliver by 200 points but he can win it if he gets up the crag first all right keep on working it folks it looks like oliver our purple player is way ahead right now with the rocks are getting him tripped up it's between cam and oliver No, Oliver hits in first. I, I called that wrong. It looks like Cam has missed an actuator. So Rebecca gets to the top second. Cam getting.
getting tripped up. I don't know what it was, whether the snow or whether a rock got him out of place on that one. But he clocks in in third place on that one. You see jubilant players at the top right there, covered with snow and covered with water. Oh, that one. It looks like Oliver took home first place on the Agro Crag. Mo is ready. Let's get the final results. Mo. Here are the Agro Crag results. In first place, Oliver in purple. In second place, Rebecca in blue. In third place, Cam in red. All right, so Rebecca making a very nice comeback in that one. Let's take a look at the replay. As Oliver hits the first actuator, hustling his way, nothing would trip this guy up. And there's a look at Cam, who's also making great time at this point. Hitting that other actuator, and now look at Rebecca as she hit that actuator, and then the rocks began to fall on top of our players. Take a look right there as the rocks getting in Rebecca, and then Cam realizing he's missed the actuator. Our judge at the top there, Frank, has told him that he has missed an actuator. He must go down, hit the button, and then you take a look at Oliver as he brings home the bacon and takes home first place on that one. An excellent event. Let's go to Mo and find out our final standings. These are the final standings, Mike. In third place, Rebecca in blue with 1,050 points. In second place, Cam in red with 1,275 points. Our winner today, Oliver in purple, 1,825 points. All right, so I, I think that bronze medal is going to fit around Rebecca very well. Rebecca, our bronze medal winner. Shake her hand. The silver going to Cam. Cam got a little bit tripped up on the aggro crag, but he, our second place silver medal winner, and then the gold, folks. The gold goes to Oliver, our man, our winner today, our purple player. He's wearing the royal colors. He's king for the day. And give him a glowing piece of our radical rock. You see it lifting it high above his head, our champion today. And I'm just going to get a quick comment from him right now. How do you feel, my man? Great. I mean, I thought I was going to do it. I thought this guy was going to get me, but I hold it up. The light is all over my face. I did it, man. I did it. <laughs> all right. Cam, did you enjoy that trip up the crag? It was great, man. I thought I was going to beat him, but whoa, he did great. Good sportsmanship. And over to Rebecca. Do you have a fun day today? Yes. Very, very fun. Very wet. All right. No ifs, ands, or buts, folks. These kids got guts. Do you have it? players compete in Reebok athletic shoes. Life is short. Play hard. in front of a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida.